Hi, this is Someday You Return, and it's going to be kind of a tutorial, but not really. It's not going to be for Plater, it's for speedrun for any percent. So if you're looking for normal playthrough, don't go there. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna go through the entire run, I'm just going to showcase the glitches that are used. There's not too many of them, and it's mostly about the route. If you want to beat the beat the current world record, it's pretty easy. I messed up a lot in the run. I mostly had like weird pathing, so that was the reason. Or I was getting lost a lot. So that's how you can improve a lot of the run. Anyway, um as for the glitches, there's not much, it's, I assume this is going to be like 30 minutes long, but we'll see. I'll just mute it a little bit. So we start, obviously, um, oh yeah, the version. Um, you need to have the older version for one glitch to work. If you don't, if you don't want to bother with that, you don't have to get it but it saves a little bit of time and also the uh, life, uh, life split works better with it for <coughs> load, re load removal but that's about it uh, you can get it quite easily uh, you just get down uh, depot downloader uh, and download it through that I have actually in the forums of this run uh, of this game on speedrun.com there's there's the manifest file you can get it quite easily if you don't know how to do it just dm me on discord i have it on my speedrun profile or or send me speedrun.com dm but yeah you'll get the answer anyway so well um so when you start the run uh, you don't actually start the timing immediately whenever the saving here appears that's when you start the time currently i did reset that though so it should be about here and now i start the time whenever this pops up and i immediately go to the menu to load the game I load the same save that it created. I recommend you to delete all your, all your saves because that might make your run invalid. Because we have a uh, because what can actually happen is in the second playthrough, the everything that you moved can actually be repositioned, and that's not good because you would skip some sections with that. It's like more like NG plus, but not really because it relies on a glitch. So always delete all your saves. Uh, they are in. Um, actually, show you. They're in local app data. So you go to your uh, like C users, your username, app data, local, and it's not going to be. Um, Someday you will return, it's going to be the forest. And in saved, there's save games, you delete all of that. And that way you prevent everything from breaking. Um, if you submit a run that has anything moved and it helps you, it might be uh, deleted. Also you have to play at 144 FPS maximum. You can have lower, that's fine. You can even camp lower with external software. And um, yeah, th that's the maximum because QTEs work faster on higher FPS. And I can imagine that some people would get like would, with better PCs, would turn the resolution down as much as possible and then they would get faster duties, which wouldn't be fair. 
So we kept it max 144. Um, I do it with uh, RTSS, the Riva Turner statistics server. It's pretty easy. You just type the number, uh, select the injection level. It's it's pretty easy. Um, again, if you need help with that, DM me. So after the game starts, uh, you reload the, the checkpoint it made. And what it actually allows you to do is sprinting. Because normally you, s you slowly walk here, but you are able to sprint. So this is the reason. Also in the black, uh, whenever the timer resumes, you are able to run again. So even if there's black screen, just already hold W. In all of these saves, it works like that. This is not the only place where it happens. Uh, whenever you enter an area and you have slow movement, uh, you you will not break anything if you just reload it. You will either get the sprint, which is almost always when you enter the bunker, and eventually if if it happens that it doesn't give you the sprint, that's all that happens. Like nothing is going to break. So if you're not sure, you can reload to be to be like to save that time with sprinting. Um, and then you just run to this location. I'm not going to go through the route because it's so long run. It's also very boring. So just gonna save you from this misery. You're gonna experience this a lot in your runs. So. Um, anyway, uh, if if you also uh, want to use the auto splitter, you don't have to. All you have to use is the load removal. Um, and if you don't want to use the load removal, we will just use RTA as your in-game time, but we will not calculate it for you. Uh, you have to. You need to have thirteen chapters for the auto splitting because the the Lia chapter. Uh, is actually kind of chapter zero or something like that. So yeah, you need to have one extra split. It also doesn't stop the timer for you automatically. You have to do that on the load at the end. I'll show you that anyway. And the start is also on your end. Uh, here there's nothing special. Um, regarding these pop-ups, so you get the tab, you have to press that. And how I close it is I press tab that selects this button and then I press space. So whenever this appears anywhere, tab space and you're done. So this is what happens when you press tab and then you press space and it closes. So you don't have to manipulate your mouse in any way. It works for all of these menus. Anyway, that's this. I don't think there's anything in chapter one. That's just casual, like go through it as fast as you can and follow the route as, as in my run. Um, yeah. You enter this and you already reload when after the load. So this is another place. Again, bunkers almost always reload. Uh, so when it's going to be interesting is, or not really interesting, but when stuff is happening, uh, I think it's chapter three actually. Yeah, you get the flowers in chapter three. So from from this point, you will be collecting the plants or herbs or. What do you want to call it? So I'll actually open my notes uh, because this is important. So we will not be collecting uh, too many of them. So at, at the start, we will need to make the purification potion and the calm mind potion. Uh, in the entire run, uh, normally you would use quite a lot of potions, but we use one purification, two calm minds, and two true sights. That's that's everything. You don't need any, anything more. Uh, but there's also one thing that 
makes this a bit easier for us. So when we get this, on the way there, you want to pick up this one, that's longboard. Um, you need only one of these. Uh, then you will uh, basically first think about purification. You will need one silver wheat, one longboard, and two buckhorns. So the buckhorns are when you enter this. The buckhorns are here. There are buckhorns. You take both of these. Uh, then you have the longboard that you took right in front of that gate, and then you need silver wheat for for the purification. That's the first potion that you take, uh, that you make. Then you take two bachelor buttons. They are right next to next to it, like here. So you just turn around. You can take them in any order, but I recommend taking handbanes the last. So you take two of these, only two. That's bachelor buttons. Then you take these. These are devil's eyelashes? No, that's silver wheat. You take one. You take just one. And one licorice right here. Then you take. Uh, you don't take this. You don't take. Well, I actually probably took. No, I didn't take it. That's it. So you don't take another long word. You can just skip that. You took it on the way. And here, devil eyelashes, you need one. And finally, handbanes. You take all of them. You take two, crush them, and take the last one. So as you can see, I opened this. I think I should be crushing the... I don't remember what I did in the... Okay, so I'm preparing purification. With purification, you just do whatever it tells you. Crushed silver, silver wheat, the root, uh, longboard petal, and buckthorn leaves. That's it. You just do this and don't care about anything. You just put everything in. Because you won't need any of these um, plants anymore. These, just forget about them. You can waste them. And why I'm saying that is because they're stupid. So then you switch to Calm Mind. And you cut all of them except for devil's eyelashes. And especially you need to cut the handbane and then pick up the new handbane. Because handbane, uh, you need four of them. So to, to give you the exact list of what you need is, you need to create a purification, that's silver wheat, longboard, buckhorn, we already did that. Apart from that, you need devil's eyelashes, those are the only ones that you don't cut from these that you get here. You need licorice, mandrake, and uh, yeah, licorice, mandrake. Mandrake, you cannot get it here, so it's not here. Then you take two bachelor buttons, uh, two psilocypes, psilocypes. Uh, those also don't cut them, and you'll get them later, I'll tell you where it is. Uh, then two devil trumpets, I'll also tell you where it is, and four handbanes. You need a lot of handbanes. So this is why we take three, and we'll have just one remaining. I maybe don't remember where the last one is though, so that might be a problem. But it, whenever you need it, I think you will have it on the way, so don't worry too much about it. The problematic ones are pretty much only psilocypes uh, and yeah that's it like they are not that visible so you take that uh, you cut all of that uh, also when you when you take the handbanes only cut two of them because they don't stack infinitely you want to cut two and then have the last one in the backup um, you drink the potion you should have already done that that was on my end and then you run to the bridge. Oh, there's the last handbane. So handbanes, you don't care about them anymore. The only plants from now on, yeah, I'll show you where it is. When you have the bridge, it's right there. So you take it. Uh, and that's all handbanes that you need. You have two crushed ones, 
and two in the backup. And then in the only plants you're gonna worry about next is Silocypes, you need two of them, and then Devil, Devil's Trumpet, you need two of them. They are not available in this chapter, so... Uh, or not in this chapter, but uh, not now. Uh, and then you will create the potion. You need to go through this to create a safe. And then you start making the coal mine. So you put the things in, you put the licorice in, the two leaves, and whenever you are just adding the last one, instead of actually adding it, you will reload the game, the save that it just made. As you can see, that's all that, that is needed. Uh, this doesn't work on the new versions, so don't try it. You will need to pick up a lot more ingredients, so um, it also loses you a lot of time. Or not too much, but you have to go out of your way, you have to pick them up, and you have to cut them. Also, cutting them um, is basically you need to only cut them once with with the with the duping. Um, so that's why we crush like cut it right at the start, so that we can only like put the things instantly without cutting it. The cutting can be actually speeded up, which I didn't do in this run. Whenever you start cutting, you press H and H again, and it opens the herbalism again, and it's already cut without waiting for for the animation. Uh, so when you reload, you open the herbalism, and you add the final ingredients. You can actually notice that it's still stored. If you make a misclick, of course, discard it, and then you have to reload. Um, yeah, so you put the final one, so that's Handbane's root, and you get the potion even though the ingredients are still existing. And I crushed another Handbane, it, it was unnecessary, but that's fine as well. So yeah, that's for this. Uh, you just go to the camp and whenever you uh, get here, there's actually Mandrake. So yeah, I, I figured that you still need to care about this. <laughs> so yeah, there's Mandrake. You need that one. And around this, you go left and there's Devil's Trumpet. So you take that one. And you only need one more Devil's Trumpet, which will, you will get on the way, and two Silocypes. And I'll show you where they are. So I don't think there's anything special. Um, the thing that you need to remember are probably the code and stuff. So you skip everything here. Uh, you only just go here. You don't even take the phone. And you just enter 33410433. And that's just it. I think I did it wrong at the first time. So. Uh, anyway, that's this. Uh, there's nothing special in here. Uh, yeah, nothing really. So what's next? I, I don't know if this is skippable. I was thinking about this. Maybe this is not necessary to do. Maybe this cutscene might be skippable. If you just go to the forest. I didn't try it. There's a lot of things you can explore and try. So where you take the Silocype is when, when you go to Lia. Along this tree, I believe, there should be Silocype like here. I didn't take it. I didn't take it in my run. I took two of them up here somewhere you don't do that in the run you shouldn't do that that's actually wrong so you don't take it here you take it later uh you take it next to the next to that thing it should be there or no no it's not here it's it's next to that it's to the left um next thing um, it's the castle, there's no glitches pretty much, 
except for going down. Of course, watch the route, but again, there's duping this. You you just have to remember that coal mine you dupe them and true sight you dupe them as well. Um, except the last one, the last one you don't need to do because you won't need it anymore. Um, the next thing is <laughs> like a two second time save. Um, whenever you destroy the heart and go down, you can actually. This is after the plank. You go down, and whenever you are on something that you balance on, you can fall off. And that can allow you to access some areas that you normally shouldn't access. So you drop down here, and then you go to this spot, and walk straight into this wall, and then go around, just like this. It's really easy, saves about two seconds. <laughs> not, not really a big deal, but it's a tiny bit of time, time save. Um, then when you return to where Leah was, you are taught the potion. Uh, you shouldn't actually, you shouldn't actually make it yet. You can crush the ingredients here though, except for psilocypes, of course. You can crush the ingredients so that when you, in chapter six, when you enter the load, you can immediately like make the make the recipe. But if you forget, that's fine, you will just crush it at that time. I crushed it first. And you don't use the calm mind here. You just go. You just, uh, not calm mind, true sight. You just go to wherever you should go, which is to the right and to the bridge. Oh, to the left and to the bridge. It, he will actually say, the potion led me here, even though you didn't take the potion, so this works fine. Uh, no more glitches here. Here, there's going to come an interesting thing. I actually died here several times, so... Uh, where is it? Okay. This attempts. Okay, it should be here. So, whenever you take the totem, you don't go around, but you go through these hands. And the way these hands work, is uh, the more FPS you have, more the more damage they deal, or more frequently, either of these things. I think more frequently, that would make sense. And the lower FPS you have, the less frequently they hit you. So if you have, f I use five FPS for this. If you cap your FPS to five, which I again do it with RTSS, you can just pass through it. There's like no problem. Cap to five and they do nothing to you. This is not cheating. This is actually allowed. <laughs> and the reason for that is because if you ran it on a weaker PC, you would have this advantage like of having a uh, low FPS. So of course it wouldn't be. Well, there's other ways to simulate it, simulate weaker PC. So we just allow capping your FPS. Uh, this is not the only game that allows FPS to be capped, so don't worry. And then you go hug the right side, there's going to be like a little shed here, and on the left of it you again cap your FPS. You can go immediately to left, but I didn't see anything, so then you go right to Leah, which it is kind of hard with this FPS. And when you un uncap the FPS, you might die. So, I was really slow here, careful, uh, careful. And I died several times here, so you need to practice this. Kind of hard to move like that. Anyway, you come to Leon, and that's it. Um, there's not much here. Yeah, here. Uh, when you're running with uh, with Leah, you're supposed to go in front of her, uh, which you do by going like away from her, and 
you will gain sprint and then you can run in front of her. And on the way there's this trunk and you can take the second psilocybe here. So now I didn't take it because I took it from a different place which was not worth but you take it here and you have two psilocybes and you don't care about plants anymore until you use the true site and it's going to be right there so don't w don't care about plants anymore at this point then you go through this uh, it's not a big deal except for yeah this so normally you're not supposed to go here uh, oh yeah here you are supposed to go uh -huh. when leah leaves you are not supposed to go straight. Normally you go straight and you see Lia, it gets you into a cutscene, you see her like sitting on the thing, you instead go to the left. You'll see the beast, go to the right, follow him. And this door is a bit tricky. You want to be as far away as possible from this. And whenever it allows you to click, you click it and sprint forward and it will do it will clip through him like this so you run through him and you don't need to care about anything else and then you of course go through as normally and I actually think I forgot to take the totem off so you take the totem and go back. And Leah is actually going to be sitting on the on this. So you take it, jump down. That's it. It's just a minor glitch, minor, minor skip. Mm, nothing much in chapter five, I believe. Yeah, nothing much. Yeah, this is pretty much standard casual playthrough. Yeah, there's nothing here. The next is chapter 6 and I believe there's also nothing until you enter the power plant. So when you enter the power plant, you create the potion. Uh, when you enter this door, you pass through the door, you get a safe, you create the potion, reload to dupe it, and then you continue. And on the left, you, you will immediately go to the left, and there's going to be a devil's trumpet. And this is the last one in the game. You won't need any more of them. So there's nothing glitchy in this part. You might want to lower your FPS in this part to like 40 or something. I don't do that, but I kept it lower because I had th that set up basically. But they can kill you when, when you're just dragging it casually through, especially on high FPS, they easily can. And when you go in, there's an interesting thing. You enter the code you, or you turn on the electricity it's everything except these three everything except this triangle so only the tree and this all of that up and then you enter the code which is one, uh, zero zero two one three four and that's it um then you take the rope and stuff and do it casually there's one thing that did happen to me, not in this run, but when I exited this door and reloaded, it actually teleported me to this room. I don't know how I did that, but there seems to be something like a uh, save warping, where things from previous saves, or from previous playthrough, save and are present in like older load for some reason sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you can try around with these things it's 
pretty confusing, but you can probably find some interesting things. And I'm gonna actually show you one that works. Uh, also, I didn't expect this video to be this long. It's going to be much over 30 minutes, probably like 20 more. Anyway, you do this casually. I actually got a soft log here. It didn't want to allow me to go inside of that. I don't know how to prevent that. Um, here I messed up the route. I forgot to take the wheel. But this doesn't matter too much. Um, what you're actually gonna do is when you activate these two, you will go there, take this one, and yeah, this is because I forgot the wheel. When you activate this, the water starts filling and what you want to do is you want don't go to the top you will go here and when you this is super easy by the way when you just swim up in this you will clip out of bounds and you will void swim so you just go here swim up anywhere in that direction and you want to be aligned kind of with this and swim forward because after you reach about this point, like um, when when you're looking at this room, about one third in the room, you are gonna fall down, and it's quite easy to hit it. And you want to hit it when well, I think when you're here, uh, you can actually see it. Uh, no, never mind. Basically, you go to. When you go on the black thing, just swim on it, then you go to the left and it allows you to walk. But if you walk this much to left, when you're swimming in the air, you will just start falling. So you want to be on the surface, then go to the left, you will start sprinting. Go through this. I don't know if you can actually, if you have to reload here, but I do, because I'm afraid it will drown me. Maybe it won't, so you might try that out. But I just walk through that wall. I'll demonstrate it again. You can see a door here. You walk through this. Reload. Open the door. And the door is actually... Like, it puts you where you were supposed to swim normally. And the reason this saves time is because you don't have to get air. You, you can still run out of air, but uh, it is harder. Uh, next thing, this is pretty much normal. You don't have to run to the car, you go immediately to this. You don't have to close the windows, but you have to close the locks. That's all that you need to do. Of course, fix the one door that's broken, but you don't have to fix the the, the bars, basically. And that's it about this chapter. Nothing glitchy here that you wouldn't understand. <coughs> uh, chapter 7, I think, is almost completely casual. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's pretty much casual. It's pretty short as well. Chapter 8, casual again. Um, Nothing weird here. Oh yeah, this one was actually accidental, um, but this happened first time in the run. So what I did here was when you get in in this, you can take the angel, use the thing, and if you are fast enough, you're supposed to be like clicking. Uh, the mouse button as fast as possible and try to hit the trigger because it now it exists now It's possible to click it. You could have seen it before it even actually try to catch it Here you can see that it's not open, but it's already active So I clicked it and you are climbing down out of bounds so I got to a bit weird spot 
you also don't have to do this at all. I did it accidentally. It might save a little bit of time, I'm not sure. But either way, learn, yeah, you, you always get here. And then you just are supposed to like run into this. And that's probably the fastest route to do this. Even though it was like accidental. So yeah, you can try around. And yeah, it's pretty much like, doesn't matter if you do it or not. But I think it's a bit faster because it puts you closer to the room. So yeah. Uh, nothing wrong with chapter, nothing more with chapter 9. I did it pretty casually. But chapter 10 is a special one. Um, uh, also, the hands, uh, you might think that some in, in a lot of places you can actually use them, like with the cap, capped FPS, but in a lot of chapters there is an invisible wall or there's a death trigger even though I suppose it's a death trigger even though like you are not supposed there's like not supposed to be one there's like they added it here or something and you completely ignore the the grandma and you don't even take it back because you won't need to destroy any more hearts so you will just go up and when you get here you again keep your FPS to about 5 and you run through it. So yeah, that's pretty easy. And then of course when you get... Yeah, you can just save a little bit of time by doing it here as well. And when you get to this place you can actually just ignore everything here and run through it so this is pretty short section even though in casual playthrough it's quite long um, I think there's nothing more in chapter 10 maybe no there's nothing more yeah there is actually there is so you can drop here, you don't have to do anything, like abuse the drop with the balancing. And here there's actually another kind of a glitch. When you're, like normally you're supposed to get the heart, but we don't do that. We actually, because we cannot do that anymore, we go on this, which I forgot, and then you drop down. And you drop down on this, down. Then you walk on this rock, crouch, charge the totem, get in that corner, cap your FPS to 5, pass through this. Pretty easy. Uh, and then this, the rest is done casually. So you will get chapter 11. There's probably nothing except for this. So when you get here, you... I just gotta fall. Sorry for that sound. Uh, so when you get here, you will actually um, use the totem, open this, and there's the, the hands, so you'll pass through it. Of course, kept the FPS again. You will watch it, and how you get out is you can keep your FPS, use the totem in those hands, but what you're supposed to do instead is just walk in the hands, get killed, and when it reloads, you will be in front of... I walked a lot forward, but you're like, you're like about here, so you can just go back. And that's... Oh no, there's more in chapter 11. You get that, you get the, the flies, and instead of destroying the heart or going over the... over, like, to the left, 
you're normally supposed to go here and there's like the bridge it's about 20 seconds faster to go this way you get down drop to the right left is dangerous because you can get killed and then you go to the light and use low fps to get through this and then you just walk up use that and go back to to the final place uh here there's probably not much anymore yeah there's nothing else uh yeah the last is pretty much glitchless there's no skips or anything you can do some funny things at the end you can actually not go into the elevator and you can jump in but don't do that it probably loses time you might be able to hit the trigger somehow to end it faster but i didn't figure it out i always died so i think that's probably about it um i hope i didn't forget anything um it's a lot of the most of the run is just routing so you have to walk a lot it's pretty boring run but if you like it you of course run it by all means um you can definitely discover more things uh, unfortunately there's no jumping so there's not gonna be any crazy movement glitches but some out of bounds as you have seen can be found maybe we can find more and some of it might be useful because a lot of things that as you have seen me pass through the hands like the end triggers worked so i assume if you could clip end triggers would still work in those locations not not much for me to say anymore uh, i don't think there's anything special about it just learn the route uh, try to mess up as little as possible it's pretty hard to remember how you should go but yeah that's it the glitch is pretty easy you reload whenever you are slowed down in several sections you will pretty much remember it in the first run where you are supposed to load and where not uh, passing through the hands with capped fps it's in chapter 6 and later before that i found it to be useless because they were killing me anyway uh, because there's probably that trigger duping the potions uh, you dupe the first um, calm mind the second calm mind the first true side and then the last true side you make it normally um, then there's the out of bounds in the chapter 9 which you might use if if you get it if you don't get it it's fine and that's about it there's nothing else really so yeah if you have any questions if something doesn't work for you if you can't get the older version just dm me on discord i will gladly show you everything this game has a really tiny community there's two people so you won't bother me if you just dm me i will gladly do that like i'll even sh like sh show you whatever you need to do if you are struggling um and if you find something interesting you can also dm me i will try to respond why am i even doing this video of course i know this game is pretty like not there's not much interest like in this run but if anyone ever comes to this like i don't want them to be super confused about this i want them to like know what they can do and how they should do it and why some things don't work for them because they have older versions and stuff like that so anyway that's it and bye